How's it going guys? Today is my first day doing Walmart Spark. I just got approved this morning and I tried out Instacart because it was my first day back and it was trash. So we're moving to Spark. We're going to see how this goes. I just got an $18 single order curbside pickup. We're going to see how this goes. I only have one Walmart in my town so it might be all right. So since I am pretty new to Spark, I have this incentive right now. So I may or may not try to do five orders today. It kind of just depends how fast these go because I have been out here for five hours already trying to do Instacart. I'm going to make a video on how to possibly speed up your Spark application pretty soon. So make sure you guys subscribe for that because it took me about six months to get approved. So anyways, this is the offer screen. It popped up right there for me. I have it scheduled till 7 p.m. just in case. So I went to the home screen. I'm trying to cover the address just in case. We're going to pick this up at 345. We're gonna get $19 for about four miles of driving. It is only 325, so I'm gonna have to wait a little to pick this up. Yeah, here is my curbside pickup location. So not as big as some of the ones I've seen, so I think that's kind of nice. All right guys, it's almost time to pick up our order, but uh, watch this. We're just gonna take that Instacart icon, put it up there, replace it with Spark. All right, so it finally let me actually start this trip. So I'm going to go park over there and slide confirm arrival, and let them know where I parked. If you guys are new like me, they wouldn't let me check in until 3.40 and my actual like arrival time is 3.45, so only five minutes early. All right, so now I'm just gonna click on parking spot 12 and now a Walmart employee should come here and then I'm gonna scan a label and uh, deliver this. It's just a single, so I think it's a good one to start out with. All right guys, so I just got the order. I got a little sticker from him and I scanned it. Everything was good. I got the water in the back and let me show you what the trunk's like. And this is what we got in the trunk. With some eggs right here, so you gotta be careful. So now I'm gonna swipe for delivery. All right, so it says no contact, I like that. Leave at front door and navigate. Let's see how far away they are. 10 minutes, I like that, let's go. So some of this I didn't record, but basically after you pull up to the spot, you select your number then it gives you this little thing and it tells you to scan all the crates. But when you scan just one of the stickers, it all just goes through. It's kind of like Amazon. So the guy just handed me the sticker because he knew I was Spark. So all I had to do was I scanned it and I did help him out to load stuff up. And now we're already on our way to deliver. From what I understand, this is a gig where you try to take orders once every hour. There's like a mini drop every hour or you get orders once an hour don't fully understand it yet. It's basically like Instacart pay, but only curbside work. Like that's pretty convenient. There are shopping orders though, and I've heard those pay pretty well too. Anyways, with all my rambling, we're only seven minutes away already. We're about to pull up to our drop off. If we don't get a flat tire first with all these potholes. So I should be on the lookout for another order and we'll just keep this going and see if we can make a hundred bucks still today. So I just saw this nice $32 one mile Walmart spark order curbside pickup. I took it. I was like, sweet. And then I noticed it was for a different town. I'm making those newbie mistakes right now. It's actually there again, $31. If that was here, that would make my day. So I had to cancel it. So I've already canceled one order. That's unfortunate. I would really appreciate it if you guys could leave me suggestions for the app, because I am so new to this. I'm trying to figure it out. If you guys have any tips or tricks, definitely let me know. I just grabbed this $28 15 mile spark order. This is a double person order though, so it will take up some more space. Unfortunately, I have to wait 20 minutes before I can do this order, so I'm still trying to figure out what to do with that downtime, so I'm not just waiting for 20 minutes every time. So while I wait, I'm gonna go get an energy drink and maybe a snack, we'll see. That last order was so smooth for $18, I'll do that all day. Unfortunately, with how many miles this one is, I probably won't be able to see the offers that come out at like, 515 or whatever. All right, so while we're waiting, we still got like 15 minutes. We got an energy drink, we got blue slush, which sounds really good, and we got some chicken. We got a cup of popcorn chicken, all that for five bucks. 
I'm pretty happy. What I did was I grabbed an extra bag. I could have put all that in one bag easy, but I want these bags just in case, like whenever they put everything in my trunk, I see something that would be easier in a bag or something falls out. I got some extra bags now that aren't like H-E-B brand, but Walmart brand. See what I'm doing there? I'm thinking, use my brain. Sometimes functions. All right guys, I just finished my chicken and we're able to check in. So I'm gonna go try and do this uh, spark order as fast as possible. This should put us at 70 for the day if you include the 26 I did on Instacart this morning. Most of the money I've made has been from Spark here in the past couple of hours actually, if you include this money already. But this will be my first double customer order. So we'll see how this goes. All right guys, so I got my stickers there. I can't show you for too long. I got some items back there and then the other orders in the trunk. All right, so we're gonna navigate to our first drop off, use Google Maps, and only 10 minutes away. So those stickers are pretty important. I'm starting to realize that. Your location might do things a little differently, but at mine, they hand me the sticker for my order. And then I hang on to those because I have to scan them again at the very end. All right, guys, so we are at the house. I'm gonna try and see which order is this house. So she met me outside, so I couldn't take a picture. So hopefully that's fine. So now we are on to our next delivery, which is the bigger order. It is helpful that I could see the items. That's how I was able to tell which order is what. I really wish they put more stickers, at least one on the bags, but uh, I didn't see another one. All right, so I did things right. I gave her the right groceries. It makes me happy. It'd be a shame to get deactivated the same day we got actually approved to shop for them. So we got a 20 minute drive for this one. We'll get there at 518. Not too bad. Then we'll get back to Walmart, go for another one. On the road again. All right guys, now that order is done. So. As long as we don't get tip baited, which is pretty common with this app, we should be at around $50 for Spark right now. I'm gonna try to do one more Spark order for today because like I said, I spent a good like five hours this morning trying to do Instacart, trying to make a video for that. If I did Spark all day instead, I probably would have made bank, especially with that $50 incentive that they gave me. I don't know, I'm pretty excited. So far it's been minimal work, not too much driving. I like it. All right, guys, we just got another one. We're actually doing pretty good at doing one per hour, which is what I wanted to do. This is a double customer order, five miles and $24. Will be interesting though, because it is an alcohol order and I have no idea what to do. I assume it's just like all the other apps, but yeah, we'll play it by ear. Basically, we're gonna make like $70 in just three hours of Spark versus five hours of Instacart for $26. We're back at Walmart. All right guys, so we are eight minutes away from our next drop off. This drop off is the one with alcohol. So let's hope we can figure this out. Alright, so first alcohol delivery out of the way, and now know how to do it. Honestly, it was super easy. Just like most of the apps, it's very similar to DoorDash. Like a Instacart, you just scan, but with this app, they do sign on your phone as well. So basically, I got to her door, and really, you're not supposed to put the alcohol on their porch until you get their ID. Just because you don't want them taking the alcohol in before you get a chance to scan it, because then you're probably going to get into some trouble there. She had her ID all ready for me. All I had to do was scan the back of it. So basically it shows me my little camera and it also shows me all the fields that they need filled out for them to be able to take the alcohol. It didn't specifically say to scan it, but I just flipped it over just like the other apps and scanned it and it all filled out automatically. And just like that, after she signed it, we were all set. So now we're only six minutes away from our next drop off. And if we did wanna do another Spark delivery, we could, easy. Because right now, 
it's popping over here. I'm not a pro at Spark by any means, but I do have some people in our Discord server that have been helping me along with this process, which is where I'm getting the information that I have. But from what I've heard, at least in my market, this seems to be a better app in the evenings. And I mean, if you work just for five hours, you could easily make 125. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the next drop off. Guys, so we just completed our third order. I'll get back to you guys at the office and I'll kind of give you a rundown of how I feel about this app. And we're also gonna get to see if we were tip aided at all or not. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the office. All right, guys, we are back in the new office. So I can say that we did not get tip aided on our first Spark day. We ended up making $71.37. And I know that isn't a lot of money, but you have to keep in mind, we only worked for three hours because we were doing Instacart in the morning. This is probably pretty similar pay to Instacart minus the shopping part. So if you guys don't feel like doing all of the decision making for replacements and stuff like that, you guys could skip it entirely and just deliver with Spark and make similar money. All markets are different, so you guys really have to test your apps to see which one is the best for you. But for me personally right now, Spark seems to be doing pretty well. I'll make sure to put our hourly rate at the very end of this video and including the total miles that I drove for the $70 that we made. If you guys enjoy Spark content, make sure you guys subscribe down below. I do a bunch of different apps now, not just Instacart. So make sure you guys stay tuned for my next video.